Mrs. Janani, Assistant Professor, Department of Chemistry, Kesar College of Arts and Science for Women. Today's session, we are going to see about aliphatic nucleophilic substitution reaction. Nucleophilic substitution reaction, which involves the displacement of nucleophile by another nucleophile. The nucleophile furnishes an electron pair to the carbon from which the leaving group departs with the bonding pair of electron. Types of nucleophilic substitution. There are three types of nucleophilic substitution reaction are available. One is the molecular nucleo unimolecular nucleophilic substitution reaction, which is represented as SN1. Here, the one represents the unimolecular. Bimolecular nucleophilic substitution, which is represented as SN2. Two represents the bimolecular nucleophilic. The internal nucleophilic substitution reaction, which is represented as SN and I. First, let us see SN1 mechanism. SN1 mechanism is a nucleophilic substitution reaction where the rate determining step is unimolecular, which will depend upon single molecule. The rate of the reaction is depend on one of the reactant. The reaction is a first order reaction. That is, the rate is directly proportional to the any one of the reactant. The product is formed through the formation of carbocation intermediate. Hence, it follows two step mechanism. The first step is the nucleophile generation step. Uh, taking the hydrolysis of tertiary butyl bromide as an example, the carbon bromide bond is a polar covalent bond. The cleavage of this bond allows the removal of the leaving group, that is bromide ion. When the bromide ion leaves the tertiary butyl bromide, a carbocation intermediate is formed. It is important to note that the breaking of the carbon bromide bond is an endothermic process. The first step is reversible and slow one. Hence, it shows the rate determining step. This is the first step mechanism. Here, the tertiary butyl bromide, which on formation of nucleophile, gives a carbocation and a nucleophile, which is a bromine minus, Br minus ion. Second step. The second step of the mechanism, the carbocation is attacked by the nucleophile. The rapid attack of the OH minus ion, hydroxide ion, on the carbocation completes the hydrolysis. The carbocation is flat, that is sp2 trigon planar, with the vacant 2p orbital vertical to the plane bearing the three groups. The attack of the reaction can occur from either side of the plane with equal probability. So the racemic product should be the result. The alkyl highlight is chiral. You can get a either a retention product or an inversion product. Effect of solvents. A solvent that can facilitate the formation of a carbocation intermediate will speed up the rate determining step of SN1 reaction. The preferred solvents for this type of reaction are both polar and protic solvents. The polar nature of the solvent helps to stabilize the ionic intermediate, whereas the protic nature of the solvent helps to solvate the leaving group. Examples of solvents used in SN1 mechanism includes water and alcohols. These solvents also act as a nucleophile. Effect of substrate. A tertiary carbocation being stabilized by the three electron releasing group. Allylic and benzylic halide can also react by an SN1 mechanism since these substrates can form relatively stable carbocation. We can see the stability order. Benzyl allyl greater than tertiary greater than secondary greater than primary followed by the methyl group. Here comes the second bimolecular nucleophilic substitution reaction. The rate of this reaction is second order reaction because it depends upon two reactant. Okay, That's why the rate of the reaction is second order. It depends upon methyl bromide and NaOH, OH minus ion concentration. It doesn't have any intermediate step. A collision between the two reactants results in the direct product displacement. While a new COOH bond is being formed, the carbon to bromine bond starts breaking. The bond formation and the bond breaking are simultaneous. During the collision, an energetic hydroxyl ion approaches the methyl bromine molecule from the side opposite to the bromide to avoid a repulsion. So 180 degree to the leaving group, a backside attack is possible. This is the overall reaction of SN2 mechanism. We get a transition state 
after the final product we get as inversion product effect of substrate the optimum substrate would be CH3A that is methyl halide each replacement of hydrogen by a more bulky alkyl group should decreases the rate of the reaction consequently the order of the reactivity may be methyl greater than primary greater than secondary followed by tertiary S and I that is internal nucleophilic substitution reaction which is also second order kinetic reaction best example for this reaction is esterification of chiral alcohol with thionyl fluoride which results in the reaction of configuration of the product you can see the rate of the reaction here it also depend upon both the reactant this is the overall reaction of internal nucleophilic substitution reaction where the thionyl fluoride is reacted with the this big molecule thank you